Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. This is Miss Martinez with your problem of the day and writing prompt for Wednesday, April 15th, 2020. Hope you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you are getting to your learning for today. I hope you've had a great day or hope you will continue to have a great day and a great week. And I'm very grateful and happy that I get to spend some time with you today. Hopefully you learn something new or hopefully you continue on to practice what you're already good at. So let's go ahead and get started with our problem of the day. Now, I know you are currently learning this in your math packet and with the lessons that are on YouTube. Um, if you don't have your math packet, that's okay. Um, if you are already great at this skill, that's okay too. We're going to um, continue practicing on it. So today we're going to calculate the total area of the irregular shapes. So we are going to find the area of this whole shape um, and find the total of it. So if you can, use this picture and go ahead and pause and see if you can do this before I go over it with you. So hit pause and let's see what you get. All right, let's go over it. So remember, area is the measurement of the um, inside of the shape. I kind of like to think of it as grass and perimeter is the fence that goes around the grass. Um, but today we're just talking about the grass of what's on the inside of the shape. So before we start, we always want to start with our redraw, right? Um, we already read it. We're going to use the pictures kind of today to do our draw part. And then we always do the total or the right part. The total area is blank meters. So let's go ahead and break this up and it's already partitioned for us, but if it's not, if you get a figure that is not partitioned or divided for you, you can go ahead and just find an easy way to partition this and I think this is the easiest way to do it, just straight down the middle and we have two uh, rectangles that we can go ahead and calculate the area for. So let's go ahead and start with the first one. I like how this problem has A1 and A2. That just means area of the first rectangle and area of the second rectangle. Doesn't matter which rectangle you do first, but for today we're gonna do this one and I colored it in red. So we have a length and a width and it's kind of when we're thinking of area, we kind of think of arrays and we think of multiplication. So we're just gonna multiply the length and the width. So we have five, and we're gonna use that as one of the sides. So we're gonna write a five. And we're gonna use the length of the other side, three. So five times three, and we get equals 15. So great, not bad. We just found out the area of the first rectangle. So now let's go ahead and do the second rectangle. If you think you can do this without me, you can go ahead and hit pause and continue on, or you can just follow along with me. So we're gonna go ahead and do the area of the second rectangle. I'm gonna put it in blue. Then we're gonna use our two side lengths, our two lengths and widths, three and three. This one's pretty easy. Both of them the same, and we get nine. All right, so we found the area of the first rectangle, which is 15 meters, and we found the area of the second rectangle, which is nine meters, and we're gonna go ahead and combine them, and when we combined, we, you said add, great job. So 15 plus nine equals 24 meters, and I'm gonna go ahead and write that on the bottom to complete my right part. Um, Total area is 24 meters. So again, just remembering that area means um, you're going to multiply the two sides. If you don't, if you have a missing side, remember that opposites, it's the same length. So if I didn't, um, if I needed to kind of do some more math and find the missing side, just remember opposite sides are the same length or they combined to be the same length. So, um, Hopefully next week I can give us a little harder one. Um, but let's go ahead and I have an exit ticket for you. So send your answer to your teacher. And this one is saying, how many square meters of carpet are laid in this house? So area is a good way to remember kind of like carpet or tile or flooring. It's what's on the inside. And that's what we're trying to figure out. So when you figure this one out, 
send a picture to your teacher. Good luck. And let's go ahead and move on to the writing prompt today. today. I've really been trying to spend a little bit more time just outside in my backyard or in my front porch. Um, I love to start my mornings outside and it gave me a really good idea for a writing prompt. So go on a nature walk and use your five senses to observe where you are. Write down everything you see, feel, smell, hear, and taste if possible. Um, you might not be able to taste anything, but go outside and even if um, you can't go on a walk, go ahead and step outside the front door. Step outside your patio, um, your backyard. You don't have to really walk anywhere, but go ahead and just observe everything you're seeing, what you see. You can list it. You can write it in complete sentences. This is really just like a jot down and kind of getting um, our observation skills, some practice. Write down things you feel. Maybe you can feel the grass. Maybe you can feel like a fence of some kind, the door, the brick house, if you have a brick house, if, whatever it may be that you can feel. Smell, if you can smell fresh cut grass, if you can smell rain. Um, plenty of different smells out there. Here, I love being able to hear the birds or the cars passing by or if my dog's barking at another dog or maybe I can hear the squirrels, whatever it is. And of course, taste. That might not be something you can do. I, um, you know, I wouldn't recommend you taste anything that you find outside, but you know, um, use your five senses to go on a nature walk or just stand outside and write everything you observe. Um, of course, like your uh, exit ticket, send a picture of your writing to your teacher. I would love to see what you guys experienced outside of your homes and see if I can. we have any differences or any similarities. So can't wait to see all your hard work. Continue on, guys. You guys are doing a great job. Missing you every, each and every day, but hope that you guys are safe and having a good one. Keep on learning. Bye, guys.